Hello YouTube, Oregon Piper here. Welcome back. So this is going to be a VR to further 73. And his 100 plus sub uh, contest. I'll get to this in a minute. Drinking a little of this. And I'll also explain that in a minute. A little oatmeal stout. So, just want to say congratulations, sir, on your 100 plus. I think you're up to like 150 now, uh, last time I checked. So, good job, awesome, fantastic. Your videos are very cool and informative. And uh, I just wanted to say uh, good job on making of the pipes. They look awesome. And your creativity looks like you've got... Um, just incredible designs and I look forward to seeing some of your other creations so again congratulations and I've really enjoyed uh, your video so far and can't wait to see uh, to see what else you come up with and and again like I said I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, seeing new pipes that you create in the process So my VR for your contest, you had four questions. Uh, first one was, what or who got you into pipe smoking? And actually, my wife, for health reasons. I know, that's strange. But no, seriously, I, uh, I was working about 14, 16 hours a day two jobs um, at one point I had three jobs and with three little kids and it just I literally was on the clock all the time uh, I never stopped working I was working weekends and um, not getting enough sleep and that, that probably still shows anyways so my wife you know she kept bugging me she said you gotta sit down you gotta take more time you, you know you gotta put your feet up once in a while not work so hard and I just, I couldn't find, you know, I'm a very active person. And I just could not find something to make me stop, you know, and take even 20 minutes to take a breath, put my feet up, and relax. So she came to me one day, actually it was right before Christmas, two years ago. And she said, I bought your pipe. <laughs> and she said, I want you to start smoking this pipe because I know it'll make you sit down and relax. So, uh, my, my wife got me into pipe smoking for health reasons. Uh, she was worried about the hours I was putting in, and, and so, bless her heart, she was trying to find a reason to slow me down and make me sit. So, I th I've, just, I've enjoyed it just immensely. Um, I didn't have a, a dad or a grandpa uh, that smoked pipe or anything like that. So, you know, I was the first one in my family. And it, it really has. It makes me sit down. And, you know, I, I think about wanting a pipe, and it, it makes me sit down and take 20 minutes to enjoy it, you know, a half hour to enjoy it. And, um, and I'm really happy that she, she brought the idea up and, and convinced me to, to try it out. So number two, you uh, asked what is our most unusual pipe. So I only have about six pipes in my collection. So the most unusual pipe that I have out of my six is actually what I'm smoking right here, which I call this my my tree branch. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what shape you call this, but I call it my tree branch. So it's a pretty cool little pipe. It does a good job. It's not a it's not a fancy name. It's nothing um, it's nothing expensive. I think I paid fifty or sixty dollars for it, but. I like it, I like the shape, and so far, it's the most unusual one I have in my collection. So then you asked about, um, let's see, one, two, three, uh, a hobby other than pipe smoking. So if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a very outdoor person, I'm from Oregon, Oregon Piper, and um, we love hunting, fishing, camping. And like I said, I have three kids, so I always enjoy 
getting them out and doing a lot of those outdoor activities. Um, so other than that, my most, uh, my biggest hobby for indoors, and especially during the winter time, involves this, home brewing. This is my oatmeal stout that actually I just brewed uh, about three months ago. It's been sitting. It turned out pretty well. And uh, actually my kids get involved a little bit helping me. They, uh, they do a pretty good job helping me out. So anyways, that's probably my next biggest hobby, uh, especially when the winter's bad. It gives me a chance to there again, sit down indoors and, and do something fun. Uh, then you also asked what was our favorite aspect of the YouTube pipe community. And I really have to agree with uh, some of the other VRs that have said just the camaraderie and the, you know, the acceptance and the genuine, um, you know, care that has been expressed. I've been a lurker for probably about a year and a half. And I just started making videos about two weeks ago. And just the warm response. And everybody is so generous and kind. And it just, I've never known, you know, either an online or local um, based group that shows so much, you know, hospitality and acceptance. And, and it's just, it's awesome. I haven't been able to make it to like a, one of our local meetups. But I'm looking forward to possibly doing that this September. But, you know, just what I've experienced so far is uh, just uh, the diversity of the people you can meet. And, and then on top of that, just getting to watch the videos every day. And it's, you know, you see other parts of the world or you see other parts of the, you know, U.S. and other states that I haven't been able to go to. And so I really enjoy watching everybody's videos and seeing... What pipes do they like? Um, what are some local pipes that they found in their area that are being crafted that I never would have been able to find out about? Um, so I really, I really enjoy that aspect of just the the friendship that that the YouTube pipe community builds, and seeing the videos, seeing what other people have found, seeing the products they found, seeing the tobaccos they like. Um, I've learned a lot about new tobaccos that I didn't know existed. But I see it on someone's video and I say, hey, that sounds like something I would like. So I try it out. So um, I think that's the four questions. Thank you, sir, very much for this opportunity for a VR and a contest. And again, like I say, congratulations on, I'd have to look, but I know you're well up to 150 by now. And uh, keep up the great work, good videos. Like I said, I really enjoy watching what you're doing with your pipes and your creativity and your craftsmanship and uh good job i'm out see you later